This is the latest in running and endurance headlines with Pace Per Mile News. I'm Lisa Knight. The International Triathlon Union released the qualification system for the 2016 Olympic Games yesterday. The road to Rio will officially begin on May 15, 2014 at the World Triathlon Yokohama, giving athletes two years to secure their Olympic berths before the qualification period wraps up on the 15th of May, 2016. 55 men and 55 women will battle for a start position in Rio, with a maximum of three athletes sent to compete for the first eight National Olympic committees that qualify for positions. All remaining and NOCs will have the opportunity to qualify no more than two triathletes. After the number of spots is earned by each country, the NOC will then be responsible for selecting which of its eligible athletes will tow the line in Rio. The Northwest Florida Track Club is facing some heat for a long-time rule in its Valentine 8K kiss em to the finish road race in Destin on Saturday. Participants must sign up as a couple, and as specifically outlined in the rules, couples must consist of a male and female runner. There have been several complaints on the club's Facebook page. Steve Cookman, the race's first-time director, says the rule is not meant to be discriminatory, but to prevent unfairness, and that that rule has been in place since the race began 21 years ago. The Rite Aid Cleveland Marathon is making some course changes in the race's 37th year. One noticeable difference will be the move away from First Energy Stadium, the home of the Cleveland Browns, as the location of the start and finish lines. The stadium will still be undergoing construction on May 18th. Race personnel are in conversations with a few downtown venues that could serve as the new start and finish locations this year. Another course change includes dropping the east side and keeping all three of Sunday's courses on the west side of the city. And there's a new goal for 10K competitors, the event which held a world record for many years, will offer finishers a medal for the first time in the event's history this year. And here's something you just don't see every day. Sheffield-based composer and music educator Luke Carver-Goss will be playing the accordion while he runs the marathon on behalf of local dementia charity Lost Chord. The 47-year-old from Mearsbrook is one of a team of professional musicians who make regular visits to care homes and day centers across the region. The April 13th race will will be his first marathon, and I'm sure it'll be a first for many uh, seeing a man running while playing the accordion as well. <laughs> That's a look at Pace Per Mile News on this Friday, February 7th. I'm Lisa Knight. Have a great weekend.